welcome to Checkmate Trivia Showdown, brought to you by AirThings and Chess.com. They have sponsored a $500 prize fund, so a lot of money is at stake as three contestants will be competing in Trivia First and then Chess Second. During the trivia portion, they will be competing for time, so seconds that would be added to their clock during the chess portion. The top two finishers advance to the, the Blitz chess game playoff, while the third one has to join me in the commentator's booth, and hopefully we'll get some uh, friendly banter going on after that. I will allow our three contestants to introduce themselves one by one, starting off with Alexander Chess. Alexandra, uh, otherwise known as Alex, uh, how are you feeling and what do you want to share with the audience today? Hello everyone. Thank you so much Kevin for the invitation. I think this is a really great idea, a really cool initiative and I'm so excited to be competing against the other two streamers. Um, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you. Perfect. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you compete. So moving on to the next one, we have Hannah says, what, what would you like to share with the chess audience? Any any preparation you've done? What you're looking forward to? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Hannah. And, and well, I did try and prepare the other day on stream. I, I had decided like one day before this that I was going to be the best chess trivia player there ever was. And I was like, I'm going to learn every, every grandmaster that existed, every world champion, literally every fact ever. And then I got like two world champions in and I was like, you know what, maybe I'm just going to wing it. So you know what, it's going to be a, a good competition, I think. And uh, my contestant, my opponent, sorry, don't have much to worry about. So <laughs> Perfect. Right. The, the classic like cramming before the test, we'll see how that uh, goes <laughs> off. Exactly. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Tosh Queen. Tosh, hello, hello, welcome to the show. What would you like Hi. to share with the audience today? <laughs> well, I was I was probably a little, but I feel pretty confident uh, in a way. I just want to go with the flow and see how that goes. I'm just really happy to be uh, part of your first edition as well, and I'm happy that you're able to run such an event. So, so uh, just excited to be part of it, and you know, hopefully, it's going to be great fun as well. Well, perfect, perfect. With that being said, I think we can go and show our first board. So as you can see, the categories are Boom In Review, little play on words, Booming Review and Boom In Review. We have oh. Puzzle Master, we have Meme Supreme, Homonyms, and Chess Openings. So for those of you um, that need a little bit of clarity, homonyms are basically two words that sound the same but are, but are spelled differently. So with that being said, um, I have a number between one and three stuck in my head. Uh, Alex, would you like to guess the number? Uh, two. That's not it. Hannah? Three. It's three. So you will be able to pick the first question. What question and difficulty would you like? Oh, geez. Um, let's go chess openings for 20. Oh, starting off with a difficult question. Here we go. After seeing this variation of the modern defense, Ken Coates claimed, if this works, then I'm a blanks blank. So the blanks are the name of the variation. Yes, and you, you're trying to guess oh. the name of the variation. So I, I, thought okay. it was, I thought it was quite bold, Hannah, oh. to start with a, with a 20, you know, so. I, thought, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. What is this riddle? I thought I'd just be like, what is this chess opening? Not, not, not this. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Oh, right. Tosh, what is uh, the answer? King's Indian. That no. is incorrect. Incorrect. So, That's okay. Unfortunately, Tosh now has minus 20 seconds. We're going to move on to the next question unless someone else wants to uh, buzz in. And with that being said, the answer was actually, what is a monkey's bum? Monkey's oh. bum. So it's the modern wow. defense. I never heard of this. Monkey's bum variation. Well, since no one got the question correct, we will move back to Hannah to select the next question. What would you like? Okay, let's do openings for five this okay. time. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Take your down a notch. <laughs> Invented by popular streamer uh, Anna Cramling, this n opening is named after what animal? Okay, it looks like Tosh was the first person to answer. It's a cow, cow opening. Sorry, could you say that again? Cow is... Um, What's what is the cow opening? 
Perfect. So now, Tosh, congratulations. You are working your way back to zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slowly but Got surely. It. Congratulations. And we will allow you to pick the next cat next category. Homonyms um five. All right. Perfect. Sounds good. Uh, last name of a chess.com spokesperson or a useful handyman tool? Uh, Hannah. What is a wrench? What is Beautiful. wrench? Perfect. Well done. That is uh, five points for you. <laughs> Very nice. And we will move on to uh, the next one. So since you got that question right, what was your next category? Ooh. Let's do your homonyms for 10. Perfect. A world chess champion or a doorbell ringtone? Okay. Alex? Ding Li Ren. A world chess champion, Ding Li Could you Ding rephrase Ren? your answer in the form of a question? Um, like, what is uh, Ding Li Ren? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That okay. is correct. What is Ding? Sorry. And Or who is Ding? What is Ding? All of the above works. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. Alex now has 10 points. Tosh still in the negatives, but you know what? There's plenty of time to fix that. Strategy. <laughs> Alex, since you got that question correct, what would the next topic you would like to be? I want to try the booming review five. Let's go and check it out. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi posed thinking over a chessboard in an ad for this luxury brand. What is <laughs> Gucci? Is that the brand? That is no. incorrect. So we are going to take you down to five. Uh, it looks like Tosh was the next person to buzz in. Uh, what is Louis Vuitton? That's the question. Perfect. That is the correct oh, answer. Yes. Yes. Oh, Inching <laughs> closer to zero yet again. <laughs> okay, I want a Puzzle Master 20, please. Okay, wow. <laughs> Tone quite difficult already. Okay. It is white to move, and Magnus found this maiden five. Uh, in the World Cup against Grandmaster Levon Pantsulaya, and you must provide the full mate in five, so you have to provide Black's best resources as well. And there's a reason why this is uh, twenty worth 20 points. Okay, Hannah, can you provide the full variation? I believe it starts with rookie eight. Mm -hmm. um, King takes e8. Actually, one moment, because I can add this in. My bad. I forgot to add this to the classroom. <laughs> Slight production oversight, but you know what? We're getting there. You're getting a little bit of extra bonus time. Yeah, I was needing to get my microscope out for that puzzle. Mm -hmm. You said Rookie, rookie eight. 8, King takes. King takes. And then Queen E4. Okay. Knight blocks, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, then Queen A8 there. Perfect. And then uh, blocks with the Rook. I suppose, mm. and then rook takes on uh, where the rook is. Sorry, my my coordinate my <laughs> coordinates are bad. Rook takes d8, knight takes knight takes queen takes mate. Perfect. Well done. All right. So that is a whopping twenty points. Um, I apologize to the other two <laughs> contestants for making it a little bit, giving her a little bit extra time, but. This is part of the uh, the first show kinks that we're working out. Congratulations, and you get to pick. I did see that checkmate just the other day, sir. So. <laughs> I was gonna say it, it's a puzzle, but it rewards you for keeping up with current events. Let's go meme supreme for five. Ready in three, two, one. When sacrificed, this piece's name gets screamed in dramatic fashion by the one and only Levy Rosman. And you must do it in the correct voice. Alex, you buzz first. Go ahead. The rook. <laughs> Please uh, answer it in the form oh, of a question. Okay, sorry. Uh, what is the rook? <laughs> okay. Uh, fantastic job. And that is correct. You have another five points. Brings your total to 10. So well done. And you get to pick the next question. Uh, let's try puzzle master 10. All right, white to move. This is a game played between myself and international master Keaton Kira. Good luck. Uh, Tosh? Closed. Knight on f6, check. Mm -hmm. And uh, pawn has to take, or the queen takes, but then we just take the queen. If the pawn takes, the bishop takes on f6, and you have to give up queen. If not, you, have, you get a mate on uh, h8. 
Perfect. Right? Yes. Okay. So just to show it really quickly, just to show it, you said knight f6, mm -hmm. pawn takes, bishop takes, and queen has to take or else mate on h8, correct? And boom, there you go. There you have it. So well done, Tosh. That means that you uh, get minus. some additional questions, some additional points. <laughs> you are officially back at zero. Zero. <laughs> All right. Fantastic job, and you get to pick the next question. Uh, Puzzle Master Five. Puzzle Master Five. Black to move, and it's loading. Here we go. Tosh, uh, what is yeah. your answer? Uh, black takes the rook. Mm hmm. King takes, mm -hmm. and there's a fork with the knight on um, on the four. Perfect. I don't have that one in the classroom, so well done. That is correct. That is the classic attraction leading into a nice big fork. So well done, well done. And you get five points. So finally in the positive for the first time, can you continue the momentum? Okay, my next question is going to be Booming Review 10. Okay. Please. This feline chess player had an elo of one, but struck fear into the hearts of many as it contributed to a further chess boom that crashed the chess.com servers in 2022. Hannah. Uh, what is mittens or who is mittens? Perfect. What is, who is, all of it uh, makes sense to me. What is the next question? Mm, let's go, uh, let's go boom in and review for 15 now. The Queen's Gambit follows the story of Beth Harmon, who goes from unknown, unknown schoolgirl to chess champion. This is the janitor who first taught chess to Beth. Tosh. Is this Mr. Scheibel? It yeah. is Mr. Yes. Scheibel. So congratulations, you have 20 points now. Next question, Tosh. Okay, next question <laughs> is going to be, sorry, Meme Supreme 10. Okay. Meme Supreme. It's considered to be forced by followers of the Anarchy Chess subreddit. This move was not part of the original rules of chess until it was added sometime in the 13th to 16th centuries. Alex. What is en passant? Fantastic job, and that has earned you another 10 points, and you get to pick the next question. Let's try chess openings. 10. Which of these are not a real opening? A, Elephant Gambit, B, Rhino Defense, or C, the Fried Fox Defense? Alex. B, uh, what is Fried Fox Defense? Wait, you said B or C? Because you just said B, but then Fried Fox Defense. So which? what's your answer? I said C. Okay. C. Okay, C, that, what is Fried Fox Defense? That is incorrect. And it looks like the second person who buzzed in was Hannah. What is your answer? The answer is B, what is Rhino Defense? Perfect. Uh, fantastic job. And you get extra points. Then you get to pick the next question. Meme Supreme for 15. All right. International Master Eric Rosen popularized this saying, which requires both tactical prowess and a touch of acting skills to successfully execute. <laughs> Hannah. What is, oh no, my queen. Fantastic. That is correct. So you are now at 60 <laughs> points, uh, leading the pack, and get to pick the next question. Okay, uh, let's go Meme Supreme for 20. As advised by Grandmaster Ben Feingold, you should never play this pawn move that weakens your king. Anna. Uh, what is F3? Or F6? What is F6? Okay, it is both the same thing. Uh, the original is F6. I will, I will be lenient and give that to you. Uh, so there you go. There's 80 points, and you get to pick the next question. Let's go, uh, I guess, Meme Supreme for 25. All right. Name this chess tactic that is most commonly used when a player may exclaim, Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! Uh -huh. Apparently my acting wasn't good enough. Hannah. Uh, what is a revealed check? Can you use a synonymous, a, a more commonly used um, term for the same thing? Uh, what is, that's the, that's the name that I've been taught for. What is a revealed check? What is a uh, discovered check? Discovered check. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. That is correct. I was also going to accept counter check. So Hannah, first over uh, 100 points, so, and you can get to continue momentum. Pick the next question. Let's go boom and review for 20. All right. 
After being accused of cheating via vibrating anal beads, Hans Niemann filed a lawsuit for this amount in damages versus Magnus Carlsen, Hikaru Nakamura, Chess.com, Plague Magnus Group, and Daniel Wrench. <laughs> Hannah. Uh, what is $100 million? That is correct. Uh, oop, I left out some zeros, but it was $100 million. So well done. And that, added, that is added to your point total. Next question. Uh, let's do Boom and Review for 25. All right. In the infamous PogChamps 3 clip, this player checkmates XQC in six moves. Yeah. It was moist critical. That is correct. That is uh, very much so indeed. His little celebration there. I know it's very small, but there you go. And we continue on. Let's go with homonyms for 15. Okay. A Romanian GM or a harmonious relationship between people or groups. Okay. Uh, the answer here, uh, any final final buzzes? No. Okay. The answer here is who is report. So it's another uh, word for um, kind of a you know it's a good relationship between uh, two people. All right. So good next question. question. Uh, Hannah, you were the last person to get a question correct, so you get to pick the next category. Okay. Uh, homonyms for twenty. Um. All right. Slaying for abuse of power in order to get benefits from friends and family, or a Russian grandmaster's nickname? Uh, I, I don't think of us. Okay, Alex. Who is Rapport? No? That is... Oh, I'm confused. Uh, uh, okay. I am not, not Russian. Yeah, that is, that is incorrect. So unfortunately, you have lost some points. Oh my god, no. All right. The correct answer is Nepo. So Nepo is mm. like slang oh for nepotism and also Yon uh, Nepomnesi. Uh, I, right. I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, I believe, Hannah, you're still the last person to get a question correct. So what question are we going for? I guess let's just clear out the category homonyms for 25. All right. Sounds good. Um, fairy tale author or GM who offered to play a game of chess fully naked. What? <laughs> fully naked. Like fully naked. Uh, Hannah. Hans Niemann? Who is Hans? What is Hans Niemann? Or just Niemann? That is correct. Who is Hans? Hans Christian Andersen oh is the fairy tale author. And of course, Hans Niemann. Um, so, well done, Hannah. Let's go for chess openings for 15. All right. Played by Ding Li Rin versus Nepo in 2023, this opening has a 100% win rate in World Chess Championship matches. Uh, Hannah. The London, what is the London system? That is correct. Racking up uh, even more points. Well done. <laughs> what is the next question? Um, let's go with chess openings for 25. Okay. This opening is the most common opening played during the 2021 World Championship match between Magnus Carlsen and Jan Nepomnesi. What is it? Uh, Hannah. What is the Petrov? That is incorrect. Ah, oh, dang. Um, I buzzed. Oh, maybe. sorry, Alex. Yes, you did buzz. Uh, what, what is your answer? Well, what is the Rui Lopez? Can that we? is correct. Rui Lopez, or the Spanish, that was the most common yeah. opening. So congratulations, you get to pick the next question. Puzzle Master 15. Okay. So, white move in the Global Chess League, Grandmaster Andre Yasipenko blundered against Grandmaster Yakovir Sindara. Find the winning move. Hannah, buzz first. Queen takes h6. That is correct. Queen takes h6. Was what the is move. queen takes h6? Oh, Sorry. Correct. Yeah, you got me. I, I wasn't even paying attention. All right. Well done. Well done. All right, Hannah. So you get to pick the last one here. Yep. Uh, I guess puzzles for 25. And puzzles for 25 is the promotion square. So once per okay. show, there is a promotion square. You get to wager up to 60 points on this puzzle. Before I show it, uh, you have to make your, your wager of up to 60 points. But in this case, it's a little bit different because it's a very, very difficult puzzle. You're going to have 60 seconds to look at it. 
and then you will have 90 seconds to play it out in a classroom uh, by telling me the moves and I will make the moves um, for the other side. I think and I'm gonna go conservative here. Um, maybe 30 points. 30 points. Okay, so 30 points on the line here. It is white to play. You're gonna have oh, you 60. Sorry? Could you flip the board? Sorry. <laughs> no, this is correct. So white's pawns are going up, oh. black's pawns are going oh. down. So this is white to play, and you will have 60 seconds to look at it starting now. Is it checkmate or like to win? Uh, you, sorry, you have you have to play until checkmate, correct. You have to checkmate before the 90 seconds are up. When uh, when when So you have 60 seconds to look at it, 90 seconds to play until checkmate. But I'm going to be oh making the, the defensive moves. Three, two, one. And you have to give your first move, and I will make the other move for black. And we will keep okay. going until checkmate. I will go queen takes h6. Okay. Queen takes h6. Queen takes. And then follow that up with rook h7. Okay. Queen h3. Uh oh. Um, wait, so I guess it's wrong? Or okay. No. Uh, 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 so we're going to use the eval bar. If the eval bar ever drops to zero zeros, then that's the uh, then you lose. But uh, right now oh, you're still fine. Okay, you said. I was just like scared because you said oh. Okay. Uh, rook takes queen. Okay. G takes h3. Uh. You have one minute left. G7. G7. G2. I mean, is that what you mean? Oh wait, there's G7. Sorry, G7. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm backwards. Uh, king h1. Uh, g8 equals queen. That is oh. no way to draw because oh, no. h2. And there's just no way to uh, checkmate without, yeah, because the it's it's a rook pawn and this is a draw. Oh, so. okay. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's all for the trap, but you were conservative. You you only um went for a hundred. You only bid, bid thirty points, 30 right? Points. So you're gonna be yeah. at one fifty, and let's go back to the trivia board. So, uh, or actually, let me just show the the completion. So just, just for people that are wondering, uh, instead of promoting, the correct move here is just king d6, getting closer to this, because there's not really many moves to be made here. Um, if you do try for h2, king just keeps closing. And when you go to the g-file, you promote with check. And this is a whole technique to come over this way, continue giving checks. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, just continue giving checks, basically getting closer. Uh, and at some point, you're actually able to allow promotion. Because I think, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's just nowhere to go for the king. It just doesn't matter where you go. That's hot. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, it's, it's this pattern where you play king g3. And even though black has a queen, the queen cannot mm -hmm. go anywhere to prevent mate on any of the positions. Mm -hmm. So it, it was definitely the hardest puzzle of, of the day. <laughs> it yeah. was meant to be. Um, but we will move on back to the trivia board. The first trivia board is complete because that was the 25 puzzle question. And we currently have a little score check-in. We have Alex with 15 points, Hannah with 150, and Tosh with 20. So keep in mind that the top two scorers will advance to a Blitz chess playoff with the number of seconds that they have on the scoreboard. So even just getting more time is very, very crucial. And of course, the second board is worth double the points. What happens if someone has a minus points? If you have minus points, uh, I don't and think you are second player. I I don't know. I don't know, and hopefully we won't get to that point. <laughs> so please, please don't, uh, <laughs> please don't go negative. <laughs> it is possible though. Okay, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But the second board, we have the categories: guess the move, chess prodigies, chess queens, papuri, and. Uh, chess flicks and chill. So, Hannah, I believe you're the last person to get something correct. What is this? The... Is the last board? I'm sorry. Like this is the last this... board. So there's only two boards. But okay. All the questions are worth, worth double. You saw last time it was five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Now everything's worth double. So it doesn't matter that Hannah's been in the lead. There's plenty of seconds to catch up here. Can we go for popery for ten? Yes. And here we go. KD recently competed in the World Chess Tennis Championship, which also featured this popular American chess co content creator who finished in the semifinals of the event. Tosh. Eric Rosen. 
Can you answer in the form of a question? Uh, is it, uh, who <laughs> is Eric Krausen? Perfect. Yeah. Well done. And that is an additional 10 points to your score. And you get to pick the next question. Okay, chess queen Stan. Winning her first Women's World Chess Championship title at the age of 16, this Chinese grandmaster went on to win four titles before stepping away from chess and becoming a professor. <laughs> Hannah. Who is Hu Yifang? That is correct, and you will get another 10 points. There you go, and one second. Okay, and you get to pick the next question. Um, let's go with Chess Queens 420. Okay. This woman beat future world chess champion Max Uwe twice in her historic career. She also reigned as the women's world chess champion for 17 consecutive years. 17. Okay, the answer was, who is Vera Mintrick? I, oh, I forgot God. the second name. I had the first would... one, one in my mind. I forgot yeah, the second Yeah, I knew it. I knew it, but I, I, I was not sure. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to risk. Yeah. All right. That is yeah. difficult, but uh, yeah, definitely a name to remember for next time, right? So, uh, Hannah, would you like to pick the next question? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go Potpourri for 20. Okay. Hikaru Nakamura defeated Jan Nepomneshi to claim the 2022 World Champion title in this format of chess. Uh, Alex. What is uh, Fisher Random? Oh. That is yeah. correct. Uh, Chess960 also accepted the answer. So congratulations, you get 20 points. And you get to pick the next question. Let's go with Chess Queens. Okay. 30. Okay. In 1997, okay. this machine became the first chess engine to defeat a world chess champion after taking down Gary Kasparov in a six-game match. Uh, Tosh? It was Deep Blue. Can you... Also, I think you clicked the wrong one. It, oh yeah she asked for chess queen <laughs> oh yeah sorry <laughs> sorry alex um that's okay tosh can you ask that uh, uh can you oh sorry uh what is deep blue okay perfect that is correct i apologize alex uh we can go that's and perfect. do chess queen next you said chess queen sort of 30 right mm. all right we'll go with that one next Thank okay you. This Dutch phenom was the only chess player, male or female, to have a perfect 100% win rate through the first three rounds of the 2023 World Cup. Uh, I don't know. This is current events, chat. Current events. Mm -hmm. three... I think I saw about this, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. All right. The correct answer is who is Aline Rubers? I would not have. No, I would not. Okay. <laughs> Poor Aline. All right, uh, Tosh, you were the last person to get a question correct, so you okay. can select the next um, question. Let's try, I um, guess, the move for 10, please. Played between Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura at the Meltwater Cup. Uh, I forgot what year it was, but okay. This, this honestly, the tournament might be incorrect, so I apologize. But this meme move po polarized the chess community after a short six move draw. Uh, Alex. What is Bone Cloud? Uh, can you please provide the move on the chessboard? Oh, uh, what is king e2? Perfect. All right. That is correct. So you will get an extra 10 points and you get to pick the next question. Let's go with chess prodigies 10. Okay. At the age of 19, this grandmaster attained the number one ranking in the FIDE world rankings and was the youngest person ever to do so. Uh, Hannah. Who is Magnus Carlsen? Well, that is correct. Okay, uh, let's go Chess Prodigies for 20. Okay. This player became the youngest person to ever achieve the Grandmaster title at 12 years old, 4 months, and 25 days. Uh, Tosh. Uh, Animanu Mishna? Can you Something please like uh, ask in the form of question? Oh, who is uh, Animanu Mish Mishna? Mishna. That, that's correct. Mishra, I believe, but yeah, that Sorry, is correct. Uh, Animanu, yes. Yeah, so you get 20 points, and you get to pick the next question. Okay, next question. Let's try uh, Gizem of 20, please. Okay. In the 1972 World Championship, Bobby Fischer made this infamous blunder with the black pieces. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, Hannah. What is Bishop takes uh, the pawn? What score is that on A2? This can you, uh, is it H2 or A2? I can't read this question. Well, think about the orientation of the board. Can you give a final answer? 
Bishop takes h2. Okay. That is correct. Bishop takes h2. And you get the points, and you get to pick the next question. Chess flicks and chill. Which difficulty? 10. Sorry. Okay. So, I know this is really... Okay. So, it's just five seconds, but okay. It's really, really small, but it looks like Alex buzzed in first. <laughs> yeah. Because I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Harry Potter? That is correct. Uh, what is Harry Potter uh, and the Sorcerer's Stone, but Harry Potter yeah, is also yeah, acceptable. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. And you get to pick the next question. Let's go with chess queens. Uh, for which? 40, how much? 40, 40. Okay. Sorry. All right. This woman has won an Olympiad gold medal at the ages of, uh, oops, sorry, uh, at the ages of 21, 25, and 59. She was also the fifth woman to ever achieve the Grandmaster title. Alex. Oh my God. Um, who is Judith Poirier? That is incorrect. Uh, the what? second person who buzzed was Tosh. Who is Suzanne Polgar? That is also incorrect. Uh, okay. Hannah also buzzed. Oh no! If it was, uh, who is Pia Kramling? That is correct. Uh, Pia Kramling. Oh, <laughs> got the gold medal three different times at those ages, um, and oh, okay. points go to Hannah. Cool. All right, Hannah. What is your next question? Um, let's go. Hot for forty. All right. In early 2023, this Norwegian grandmaster checkmated Magnus Carlsen with en passant in an online blitz game. Uh, Hannah. Okay, I'm going to go with who is Arian Tari. That is incorrect. Ah, dang. That was only Norwegian grandmaster I could think of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I knew that was going to be a trap. That was like, yeah. <laughs> I knew someone was going to fall for it. Anyone else? Um, pass. No. Okay. <laughs> the answer is Jon Ludwig Hammer. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't guess that. So. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> All right. I didn't know she was here, so. Okay. <laughs> Hannah, what is the next question? Um, let's go. Guess the move for 30. Okay. Described by Magnus Carlsen as self pinning to immortality, Dean Lee Rin played this move in this position. It is from the most recent World Chess Championship. Chess prodigies for 30. Okay. This Nigerian-American youngster went from staying in a homeless shelter to becoming a FIDE master, and he holds wins over Gotham Chess, the Botas sisters, and most recently, Roger Federer in casual blitz games. <laughs> Hannah. Who is GM Tani? Uh, uh, can you rephrase? Uh, who is Tani? Okay. Correct. Because uh, yep. he's not a GM. He is a feeder. Oh, master, right. So Sorry. you have to be careful there. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I thought he was GM already. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Points for Hannah. And you get to pick the next question. Chess prodigies for 40. Okay. This grandmaster is the youngest player ever to reach a FIDE rating of 2750, breaking Magnus's record, who was the previous record holder. Uh, Tosh. Is it Ali, Ali Reza Firozia? That is incorrect. Uh, Hannah. Wait, what? That was right. Who is Prag Pragna Ganda? Pragna Ganda? Uh, that is also incorrect. Pragna Nanda no. R. That's also incorrect. Okay, I thought it was Sally Reza. <laughs> okay. I pass. Okay. The correct answer was Gukeshti. Oh. Okay. Oh. I, I think that Ali Reza was the, first, the youngest to cross. Wait. It was a difference. He's, a, he's like a little older. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's like 20, 20. Uh, but Gukeshti just made this history like recently, so uh, yeah. Mm. Um, okay. Let's go pop three for 50. This Polish grandmaster famously fell out of his chair after blundering checkmate from a completely drawn position versus Tigran Petrosian. Uh, Tosh. Is this Pavel Tetzlaff? That is absolutely correct. <laughs> he did. And just for a little clip, everyone Oscar see. <laughs> It's very small, but let's just see it. Petrosian sips his coffee. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
And there you have it. All right, there oh, it no. is. Tosh gets her 50 points and gets to choose the next question. Okay, so next question. Um, let's try chess queens for 50, please. All right. At the 2022 Chess Olympiad in Chennai, India, this then woman international master scored a perfect 9 out of 9 to start the event for Team Poland, earning her third and final international norm. Tosh. Olivia Kielbasa. That is correct. And How do I get the Polish ones? Look at this. Uh, the comeback is alive and well. Got, literally started at zero two questions ago and already at 100 and picking the next question. Okay, so let's try chess, chess flicks and chill 20, okay. please. Uh, the, the embed might be a little small, so just be aware of that and enjoy. Oof. Uh, Tosh. Is this searching for Bobby Fischer? Can you rephrase in the form of a question? Um, is this... Um, okay. What what is the movie searching for Bobby Fischer? That is correct. And you get some points. So congratulations. And you get to pick the next question. Okay. So let's try um, Chess Flix and Chill 30, please. Okay. Alex. What is uh, the Bing Bang Theory? That is correct. Well done. You get points oh, and you get to I pick... wanted to say friends. <laughs> well, good thing you didn't answer. All right. What is the next question, Alex? Mm, just leaks and chill. 40. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Uh, Alex. What is Sherlock Holmes? That is correct. Alex trying to make a comeback to make the final, uh, final chess game, and she gets to pick the next question. The funny thing is I didn't watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue with chess flicks and chill. Okay. Alex. Yeah, okay. Uh, what is X-Men? Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. Alex making a major comeback. And its <laughs> score is 135. Alex, Hannah 210, and Tosh 120. Things are getting very hot in here. And what is the next question? By the way, we have 140 seconds left on the clock. So anyone could be in first place after this. And anyone could be in third place. So Alex, please choose the question. Guess the move. 40. Dean Lee Rin calls an ambulance at the 2019 Sinkfield Cup versus Magnus Carlsen with this move with the black pieces. Tosh. Pawn on E4. Pawn E4 no. is no, no, incorrect. Oh, sorry, that's a bit now. <laughs> okay. That's a painful 40 seconds to lose. Uh, Alex also buzzed in. What is your answer? You say black pieces, right? With the black pieces, correct. Yeah. Is uh, what is rook h1 check? That is oh, incorrect. Wow. So you also lose 40 seconds. Uh, Hannah, would you like to take a stab at this? No, thanks. Okay. The correct answer is knight e7, basically blocking the maiden one thread oh, of queen f8 nice. and also wow. enabling rook h1 as a uh, as a as a checkmate threat for black. That's crazy. So, I wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So next question. Alex, you're the last person to get a question correct, so you get to pick the next one. Yes. Then move. Okay. Magnus Carlsen played this beautiful move to seal victory in the 2016 World Chess Championship versus Grandmaster Sergei Karnakin. Oh my gosh, Alex. Okay. Queen... Uh, what is queen h6 check? Well done. Okay. Didn't even need to see the puzzle or the yeah, position. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, well, done. well done. Okay, that means we have our last and final question. Everything's ready to go. Chess prodigies are 50. In 1991, 
This player became Grandmaster at the age of 15 years and 4 months, breaking the record previously held by Bobby Fischer. Grandmaster. Grandmaster. I have an idea, but I don't want to risk yeah. <laughs> Okay. The answer was Judith Polger. That completes the trivia portion. So, we do have uh, Hannah in first place. Congratulations. And Alex in second place with 145 seconds. And unfortunately, Tosh is in the third place with 80 points. Okay. So, Tosh will be joining yours truly, myself, in the commentator's booth. And we will have a blitz game versus Alex and uh, between Alex and Hannah. Before we do that, though, I just need to show a little bit of preparation. Um, hopefully, this is good advice. But as I said before, we are sponsored by Air Things today. So, I uh, just want to share a clip where... The Air Things measuring device was measuring air pollution, and it helped even the best of the best in chess play better. So without further ado, let's check out this clip right here. And we have seen that several times now. I mean, so this is from Monday. Uh, no, this is actually from, from Tuesday after he blundered in the third, uh, third game. So, so he, he blundered, the yeah. air quality was bad, yeah. he opens the window, mm. takes uh, a breath yeah. of fresh air. Gets uh, re-energized and uh, ready for the next game. Wow, and it actually helps, that is fantastic. There you have it. So uh, even Magnus, when he was blundering, playing poorly, opens a window, improves the air quality, and uh, you can see it measured on the AirThings device, and hopefully... That is good advice for Alex and uh, Hannah. But in the meantime, we are going to speak with uh, Tosh just to get a little bit of an idea of where her head's at going into this commentary session. And in the meantime, maybe Alex and Hannah could do a little bit of preparation, but it'll only be a minute or two a minute long interview. So that being said, Tosh, how do you feel Hello. the trivia went? What went right? What went wrong? How do you feel right now? And it, no, it was it was good. Well, well, obviously, I'm a little bit disappointed, but no, it was it was great. It was um, there was a few questions that I knew, but I was a bit late, I think. And um, uh, but there was like the questions about positions and the the best moves. I wouldn't be very good at it. And um, there's like there's a lot of games that I don't fully remember. So um, you know, it's it's okay to figure out on the spot, but um, it's harder when when someone has like knowledge of it so i guess i played on that a lot uh but yeah i, I guess the polish ones kind of saved me <laughs> true a little um but yeah it was fun it was fun very very nice uh questions i was struggling a little bit with the um, homonyms um as a I'm not like, you know, native uh, English speaker. So a few things, you know, it would just take me a little longer to figure them out. But other than that, everything was perfect. Okay. So um, in general, were the questions harder or, or easier than you expected going into today? Um, the one about like knowledge kind of, they were the ones I was expecting. I was prepping a little. So there was one I actually failed on. Um, I, I learned today and I forgot uh, Vera Menchik, her second name. Uh, so it was, oh, was angry. But yeah, so some of them I expected. I didn't expect. Um, but there was a few that I was like, I, I didn't even think of them. Um, yeah. I was, the, the hardest were, like, guess the player. If you, mm -hmm. like, tell me the event or, like, they played against that person, that was the hardest for me. That's like, I didn't know. And, and the one with the Gokesh. I was only checking that as well, that he was, he, there's like a very small difference in rating between him and Ali Reza. Uh, well, small, but like, uh, you know, he's just mm -hmm. a little bit. And uh, Ali Reza was only checking that he's actually the youngest junior, um, if we think, under 20 years. Um, so that's why I guess Ali Reza, well, you know, <laughs> it yeah. happens. Um, he would be definitely my second choice, though, um, Gokesh. Um, but, you know. <laughs> very nice so well, well yeah, you, you answered uh valiantly and i think uh you had a little bit of a de deficit early on so i don't know if that kind of yeah, changed your mental was... strategy but uh you did well and do you have any um do you have any advice for either alex or hannah going into the blitz game or is there something that you're you're going to be looking for in, in this blitz game um what, what's the time again for them because uh, i forgot what was the score um it's going to be uh 210 seconds for hannah so that is three and a half minutes 
versus okay. Alex at 145, which is two, basically two and a half minutes. Okay, so there's not such a big difference, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I wonder, because Alex is higher in uh, classical games over the board, mm -hmm. um, as a higher rated, because I think Alex, well, it's like 1800 or something. Um, Hannah, I'm not entirely sure, but she, she's... She's improving now. She's only back to her tournament, so so she's also strong. But I um, I think Hannah has higher rating in like bullets, um, and this is kind of it's like bullets bleed, right? So um, I feel like well, it's hard to hard to say, but Hannah could be the faster one, and she already has a time advantage, and um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, well, what do you think about the match? How do you um... feel? Yeah, it, it, it seems like if this was an over-the-board uh, game, it would very much so skew differently in terms of who is favored. But online, it, it feels like <laughs> Hannah has more experience online, but that doesn't mean necessarily the most chest strength. It could go either way. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be very exciting to see, like, you know, it's a Blitz game. Anything can happen. I, don't, I have no idea yeah. who's even favored, except for from the perspective of time. Um, both players very experienced for chess in general. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to switch. I'm so over. surprised though with um, with Hannah, Hannah's knowledge. Like I was, um, you know, I didn't expect her to know so many, uh, know the answer to so many questions. It, it seems like her preparation, her preparatory studying um, really paid off a little bit more than or maybe it was it yeah that she was, she was saying yeah. i know i know that was a bit, i i could feel at the beginning she said that she didn't uh, oh she studied a little bit but then she gave up i was like no she didn't yeah. <laughs> at the moment i entered her stream i could feel the competitive how competitive she is so uh that's a big lie yep. <laughs> okay. but she did really well so uh well done for her also alex but obviously hannah's you know, uh, mm -hmm. leading for the long time. Um, okay, so I'm going to start the match. It's going to be between... Uh, so the lower timed player is going to be playing with the white pieces. So that's going to be Alex. Good luck. Yep. Alex, can you make your first move really quickly? Should I make a move? Or... Not yet. Okay, there. there. Um, okay. Now you can make a move. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. All right, All right you two can mute yourself and then Tosh and I will commentate. Uh, well, ooh. Good luck, guys. Yeah, they need to take their headphones out. You guys need to make sure you can't yeah. hear us. Okay. Oh no, perfect. I left the game by accident. Oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. Okay, make sure they can't hear us. Alex, you can't hear us, correct? Okay, perfect. All right, Tosh, so we see a Sicilian. Woo. Yes. Oh, well, this is, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Alex has to move quickly, right? I mean, there's no way around yes, it. Yes, yes, she has like, uh, yeah. At well, some it's point, kind of she bleeds, needs to make though. A, you right, know, but at some point that. she has to make the com the comeback on time because um, there's no income. Yes, yes, she needs to catch up with the high time. Right, uh, winning well, or losing, hey. Hannah for sure oh. has like flagging as an option, right? Yes, yes, um, and I'd say Hannah has experience with yeah. that too. Um, okay. So, uh, so okay. basically, just uh, mm -hmm. one little quick trick. Obviously, uh, Alex will not fall for this, but night takes would lead to a nice little giant fork. Um, oh, but yeah. that's just you know, that's that that would be like an ultra bullet mistake, not not uh, not for blitz. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, I she castles. Safe. I cannot tell that maybe like um, Bishop on H six or something, but mm. but maybe the goal to remove this. Much sure. Yeah. Maybe if short castles by black then bishop h6 very annoying okay she goes for it immediately all right okay but i i wonder what's the rook c1 that's a little bit um what's what's the plan is is she going to move um her knight and prepare some like c3 and then you know that's i guess she wanted to protect the pawn but it just feels um a little bit diff a little bit odd right like a little bit of a waste of tempo potentially but maybe oh. maybe like yeah. What Maybe do you? Hold on. Look. Look. Look at this. What hmm? do you think? This is one big massive hook. Why did she play h5? That's a great question. <laughs> that but... just looks like come over and attack me, please. Yeah. That just yeah. Maybe it's easier oh, for oh, white. I feel like she's making quick moves now, Alex. Look, yeah. she, she's feeling a bit more confident. Okay, I don't think. Oh, okay. E5. Which is interesting because I wouldn't mind if there would be exchange because we open the D file and bring the rook in. Um, she tries to 
bring the queen on those weak black squares because we can see that black don't have a black square bishop anymore mm -hmm. and queen wants to just find the best spot somewhere there. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go for an exchange. No, no, no. No in this position though because we we don't have a black square bishop so we can't take advantage of those black squares and now when we go give up on the queen we can't even, you know, that's, that's a bit worse for us. Especially right. when the king is a little bit under attack. Right. And... Um, yeah, now with less pieces, there, there's probably less chances for some big attack to yes. you know, have like yeah. a, you know, a finite, you know, a big attack that's going to save time. Like instead, it might be just making a lot of moves, which could favor uh, Hannah given the, the time Ooh, advantage. Time advantage, yes, exactly. And if you think about it, yeah, even if you go to end game, end games are difficult. You don't want to exchange everything and go into end game when you're already like low on time. Right. Um, I feel like. I would say, well, I would feel more comfortable in those kind of sharp positions. As long so, as, um, yeah, as long as Hannah avoids like a 50 move roll or something like that, like even if the position's equal, she can just continuously make moves, make moves, make moves until Alex yes. flags. So that's a very valid strategy. Uh, I actually recently employed that over the board in, in the chess tennis championship in a completely equal position. So obviously uh, Hannah and Alex are going to be you know, aware of the of plans like that of, yeah. of that nature. Yeah, I'm a little bit uh, worried about uh, um, Alex's time. 18 seconds. She should, she 18 should seconds. play fast. Yeah, it's easy for to... me to say I'm not the faster player as well, but um, I just think that she made a really wrong choice about exchanging the queens. Mm -hmm. That was uh, that was the most critical moment. Um, yeah, 15 why, seconds uh, is hard to make a make moves that make sense. Like the yes. the faster you go, the more likely it is that you make um, a mouse slip or or any sort of mistake that just uh, could disallow yeah. you from winning. Yep. Woo. All right, thirteen <sighs> seconds. It is online. Okay. So, you know, pre moving is much more uh, no, likely here. But I don't have much hope for she Alex. Move. She has to move. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't root for her, but I'm just saying that this is going to be really hard to win at this uh, time. Because you don't have obvious moves, you don't have obvious Correct. plans. and you, you, uh, She's just going to make quick moves and she's going to blunder. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't have tactics. Uh, that's why I'm just really surprised the way uh, I can't get over the fact she exchanged a queen, especially with such a weak squares. Mm -hmm. when... Whoa, whoa, what was missed? Something was missed. Knight e8 for a fork was missed. Oh, there was a fork! There was a, Sorry, fork. There was a fork. Alex doesn't have the giant fork by her desk to remind her to look for forks, but she has uh, simply three uh, seconds left. I'm is, sorry, yeah. I missed a lot of I moves. I mean, even but... with the fork, probably time would decide. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't That's look very difficult. good. That's um, difficult. Yeah. <sighs> well ah. done. Well done by Hannah. I know a lot of those moves got missed, but after the fork was missed, um, Knights got exchanged and the pawn started rolling. The two on one was too much, made it through and flagged. It GG, was though. a fork? Or yes. where? So uh, when when In Hannah played <laughs> when Hannah played Rook C seven, there was ninety eight check. Oh my gosh. Oh sh <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. But, but also yeah, no okay, time cool. to see that. <laughs> to be honest, there was a it was a really well played game. I feel like it was it was pretty darn equal until um, until the time tr trouble started, and then yeah. Hannah did a good job kind of rolling her pawns down and getting more pieces off. Yeah, I think we're maybe both a bit nervous too. So yeah, <laughs> I was nervous. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. with with that being said, um, I think we could give a little quick interview for Hannah. Uh, just Hannah, congratulations! So with your win, it's not it's not just like the pride of winning, but um, it's also a very comfy two hundred fifty dollars into your pocket. So how do you feel after the win? Um, uh, I'm very happy. I didn't expect to win, but um, I was thinking like you know, um, if it got into a blitz game, I thought I'd probably be the favorite just because you know I've. Uh, got some good flagging skills like you know if it was classical they'd probably both wipe the floor with me but blitz I, <laughs> I thought I'd be the favorite there but the quiz on the other hand I think there was a few times where I just threw a shot in the dark and somehow it landed and uh, yeah it was it was 
Uh, very, very fun. I enjoyed this. <laughs> I, I'm so glad to hear that. That was my number one goal, to make sure everyone had a good time. Uh, just in terms of the trivia portion, like, uh, I know before the show, you were saying you weren't very sure how the trivia portion was going to go, but you low-key dominated the trivia portion. So uh, are you willing to disclose the like how you went about preparing, or are you keeping that a secret? Um, honestly, like I was looking at some chess history, like to prepare, I was looking at chess history and I was trying to look at all these historical things, but not, not a lot of that actually came up in the quiz today. I think that I've, I realized that I just spent way, way, way too much time uh, mm. watching chess on the internet because yeah. And also I, I watched a lot of Jeopardy with my dad. So, you know, I like, I'm very competitive in quiz games. So I think I was like smashing the balls as quickly as I could. <laughs> yeah. So it, would that be what, uh, my next question was gonna be, what do you think contributed to your success today? But I, it's, it feels like you just answered that question. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was it was a really awesome event. I mean, it was very well organized, and it was it was lots of fun. Uh, I thought the questions were really really good, and uh, yeah, I'm very very honored to have right. won today. <laughs> All right, we'll switch back over to everyone. Ideally, there's going to be a tournament of champions at some point, much into the future. So hopefully, we'll have Hannah back. But honestly, potentially, we could have Alex or Tosh back as well, depending on the episodes and the lineups. Thank you again. Uh, congratulations again. Uh, just to be clear, Hannah, $250 coming your way. Uh, Alex has $150 going her way. And then Tosh, you will have $100 going your way. So big congratulations. Claps in the chat. Claps all around for all the contestants. Well done. Well deserved. Well earned. And uh, we will see you all in the next one. Does that sound good? Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. It was nice thank to meet you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.